What is up guys? What is up? This is Hot Eyed 7 and RCT Gaming and we are going to be live streaming some Sega Arcade, hopefully, fingers crossed, with the Hyper Pie. Have fun for a little while with this stuff. So let's go right into it. Start off with ah, some classics. Some classics. Should I start with Outrun? I mean, that's that would be like the yeah. Let's go for that. One. Loading. Loading complete. Outrun. See passing breeze or splash wave. Splash, splash wave. Yeah, let's do that. Get ready. Let's go. Now I was going to use the arcade stick, but it was starting to give me some issues because. Since the arcade stick that I have is the Mad Cats one, tournament one, you know that you have a mode where you get to switch from uh, digital uh, D-pad and analog stick. So in some of these games, you need to be switching from one to the other because it, it won't work. So I just went back to the Xbox One controller for these actually better for these driving games because the driving games with a, with a joystick is not really that fun. Kind of need a wheel for that. So we're going to start off slow and nice with a classic Outrun. This one I think has got a port like on every console imaginable. Of course, it's not near as fun as it would be um, playing it on arcade, and of course with the driving wheel and stuff. But and that quarter went by really quick. All right, let's take it back to the menu to see what other goodies we find here. Racing here. To be honest, I cannot remember ever playing this one. I played many, many games before, and I don't recall this one. Let me see if it works. Loading. Loading complete. I tried the other day some choplifter. Oh my god, I couldn't. I just, I don't know how I did it back in the day, but controls were crazy. Kept getting killed over and over again. What? What's this? Okay, 1991. I wonder what hardware this was from. Probably, I don't know, System X or Y or something like that. Punches. You have the attack button and you have the jump button and the Y button, which is not very good, but I'll take it. Now, 
got Afro Soul here in the background serving as a uh, pseudo moderator. What's up? Say what's up to the to the fans out there, Afro Soul. All right, I think probably I hope the stream got that. It's a very important part of RCT gaming. Very important part of my daily sanity as well. Even though she does drive me crazy at times, but you know, it's a balancing act. So I know you want to kill me. Well, this seems to be this game seems to be very final fight ish. Sweetie, are the sounds uh, coming through? From the game, I mean. So far, it's not really... I mean, this is the... Guessing the, the default setting for this, but so far it doesn't seem to be very challenging. Like the guys here are more pushovers. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm just okay. Here we go. Okay. See, I started complaining. I shouldn't have complained. Just went with the flow. No, I had to open my mouth. And now. They're ganging up on me and shit. Great. Now since there's so many games, I'm just gonna do like a one play on each. Unless it's a really, really amazingly classic title that I might, might want to play more than one but I'm gonna try and keep it just one play each because there's so many games in here that it would take me forever and that's without even counting the more modern or advanced games on the more recent hardware see a end level boss here. I don't know what's going on. I'm guessing the guy who's uh, laying down over there must be the probably the end boss. Just waiting. There he comes. Tam Tam. Jeez. Is that it? Oh no. So that one. There's like no way of getting to him, getting close to him, unless I, I jump him. And he's starting to do that too. Get off of me. not a bad it's not a bad value I mean I'm, I got like how many lives I 
That's it. Sorry, dude. I am out of here. Let's go to the next one. Let's see what else we can find here. Oh, let's get something a bit more modern. Ooh, I wonder if this one works. Stadium cross. Loading. Loading complete. Hmm? You're the green one. What green one? Okay, I'm guessing it's the delay. Yeah. Now uh, this one is weird. This one has a double screen for some reason. I don't know what's going on here. I'm very confused. Oh my God! Which one is that? There you go. Okay. Lap one. Number seven is in the lead. Holy crap. The crowd is screaming. Lap one. Who's going to win the championship? <laughs> Lap one. Beautiful weather here at Sega Stadium and in the floodlights. Lap one. Ah, you got to pull up when you... Oh! Runs off the court. Lap one. Number seven is in the lead. Lap one. Ah! Who's gonna win the championship? There you go. Number seven is in the lead. Number one. Hit number four. With the series points title up for grabs, the final battle at Sega Stadium will decide this year's champion. Holy shit! How am I gonna pass these guys? Number seven takes the first lap. There's the green flag. With the series points title up for grabs, the final battle at Sega Stadium will decide. This year's Extended time, that's not bad. This is CCN Andy Burnett coming to you live from Sega Stadium. Lap two. Pull up, pull up. With the series points title up for Doing some fancy moves there. Sega Stadium will decide. Number two. Whoa. Lap two. Number one. Runs off the court. With the series points title up for grabs, the final battle. Number one. Hits. Number five. With the Oh shit, you can smack him too. Beautiful weather here at Sega Stadium, and in the floodlights, a wild battle is taking place. One to go. Ah! The crowd Stadium cross. Number two. Damn, I Number missed one. this one. I don't remember this one. Number two is in the lead. Time over. That's it. saying goodbye from Sega Stadium. Number two. Oh, that's crazy setup. You have like two screens side by side. I'm guessing that this is the setup that had probably two motorcycles side by side in the arcades. But I can't, I can't remember it. At least not by name. It's like the first time for me. But pretty awesome. See, there it is. So probably the setup was a double screen one with. Uh, the fake motorcycles there so you could like get into it and probably have to pull it up when you are about to do a jump or something pretty cool let's see what else we find here it's another motorcycle well the original space harrier how about that Do I have it in the arcade one? Loading. I'm not sure. Loading complete. If not, I'll try the main one. Yep, this here. Welcome to the panel, people. Get ready. Oh yeah. Space Harrier. Of course, in, in the Hyper Pie, I do have all of the other versions, which include the, 
a remake done by M2 for I think it was Sega Ages for the PlayStation 2. Which of course is more modern looking, but this one I, I prefer this one, the arcade. You kidding me? The boss didn't kill me and a tree, a dead tree actually. That's too many odds. I'm still alive. Oh, how many lives do you get with this? I don't remember quarters lasting well. Yeah, I, I used to stay for hours on a quarter, but. Don't tell me those little men in the left hand corner are my lives because. Oh my god, that's like. Too many, too many, too many, too many pillars. That is excruciating. Oh, makes me feel so self-conscious. Oh my god. Okay, down to the last two. My last oh. all. No. One more. Oh, made, made it to stage three. I'm starting to get crazy. Too many things to fire on. And I had my last all. Oh. So that was Space Harrier, one of the absolute classics from Sega. Oh, we got Shadow Dancer. Oh yeah. But I cannot play Shadow Dancer without playing Shinobi first. So let's go with Shinobi first. I'm not sure if I have that, that one in this complete. module or if... Yeah, it's here. The original Shinobi. Mission 1. Mission one, okay. I'm ready, I'm pumped. And I wasted a special move. You dumbass. What is he doing? He farting? Never mind. There's supposed to be a jump button. Oh, okay, it's up here in the shoulder, great.
far so good. Oh. What? What's that? What is that? That is not a ninja. That looks like a copyright. Oh yes. This right here looks like a copyright. They have... This game is famous for... Little copyright infringement thingies. Like that one right there. Like that copy of Spider-Man. And there are enemies there. I think there's Batman and there's somebody else that they threw in there. And I know they, they didn't do it on purpose, like, you know. Simpler times, I guess. Oh. I got shot in the ankle. And the enemy here is Ken O. Come on, Spidey, leave me alone. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, Shadow Dancer. Shadow Dancer. Loading. Loading complete. Is it, it is hot out here, guys. It's, oh my god, it's crazy. I can't put the fan on. Is gonna destroy my green screen. Whew. Sweating bullets. Well, Shadow Dancer is not loading. Yeah. Failure. Failure. Let's go with the main version then. Loading. Loading complete. There we go. This, of course, the direct sequel to Shinobi. Now sporting a very cool dog. Which one is the jump button here? That dumb. I don't know what the hell he said, but it sounded so cool. And very, very loud. There's the jump. That's what I wanted to press, the jump button. There's a guy with a shotgun. There you go. Good doggy. Go get him, doggy. Go get him. There you go. They turned my dog into a puppy. Damn you. to or underneath the uh, Concord. That's a pretty awesome retro site. Oh! I got a knife in the throat. Not cool, not cool. After this one, I'm gonna go for a much mo more modern one, so that way I can switch back and forth. Oh my! God. So I can switch back and forth between the oldies, oldies and really good ones, and 
the more modern stuff. Man, we don't get to see every day. I mean, we get the occasional port here and there to uh, the last generation of consoles, uh, PS3 and Xbox 360. Got mostly a lot of those ports, the ones that I'm talking about. I keep getting knifed with this guy. Okay, anyways, I get it. I'm going to jump from the classics. We'll come back to this. I'm going to jump to something a bit more modern. Like, let's say something from AM2. Like maybe Zero Gunner. We gotta do the occasional we'll shoot them up, Loading you know, complete. just to cover all genres and stuff. Uh, this technically is from Psycho, but it is done specifically for the Model 2 hardware from Sega. It's gonna have one play only, so I gotta make it count. Power of the Model 2 brought polygonal stuff to uh, polygonal and of course 3D stuff to the conventional 2D shooters, shoot 'em ups. And I enjoyed a lot the fact that you had the ability of holding down the fire button so you can focus your shots to a specific target. Pretty cool. But I'm getting hammered. Not good. Uh, why am I playing in a, such a small screen? He didn't tell me this was in a small screen. I was playing in a small screen. It didn't go full screen. You weren't watching. Loading complete. Since that one, the Model 2, for some reason, wasn't going full screen, I did not know that, of course. Uh, Afrosol failed to mention that it was playing in a very, very tiny screen. Mario. I'm gonna jump to the Triforce one because, of course, this one is gonna always play out in full screen because of the resolution. I'm gonna go with uh, Racing one. Okay. Pac-Man. Which one should I do? The Waluigi Cup, the DK Cup. Uh, I got to. Okay. Just on time too. Now the announcer here is obnoxious to the umpteen level. Here we are live. Oh my god, from here he, he, he goes. Mountain. Drive through Packland in this forest track. And now we begin the race. He's like high, like very, very high. 
Mario, blast off! What a deadlock! Mario, Mario! I can't believe the moves this card has made! Oh my god, he threw me off already. Come on, Mario. Mario! Problem with your card? I can't stand Mario, the announcer on this one. On the he doesn't shut up. Mario is now in sixth place. We expect this card to pull ahead. Mario picks up points in one stretch. Mario is now in sixth place. Let's see your determination. Damn, I'm in last place. Wow. Nah, this car this car slides too much. Nobody can tell who will come out on top. Mario is closing in on a rival car. Mario, shoot the bases. All right, all right, all right. I'm gaining up Mario on him. Mario makes a perfect pass. Mario is gaining on the leaders. The thing Mario is that these is Mario cards, the GP series, they're not like the the ones Mario that we play. They have different mechanics. So, like the power slide from the other series don't work here. And the power ups are different too. And this car is, oh my god, this car is almost uncontrollable. It's so quick that it slides too much. Got it. Nailed that curve. Five seconds until detonation. Toad is hit by the basin. Mario makes a perfect pass. Now on to the final lap. Mario, can this driver catch up? What a deadlock. Wario, Mario, great dead heat. Shut up! I know that's my name. Shut up. Mario, shot an item. Bingo. Bingo. Left behind. The leaders are now entering the final corner. Everyone is deadlocked. Mario crashes into the wall. Come on, come on. Come on! Third, third, third! Ugh. Mario draws the goal! A narrow loss. Expect a strong showing next race. Yeah. Didn't tank close. Let's do one more. Can I choose another car? I don't I don't remember. Yeah, I can. Let's choose another character. If you thought that that announcer was obnoxious, wait till you hear him with this one. Blinky! It's on the side. Blinky! It's on the run. Blinky has just stopped. Blinky! Blinky! Now in the actual arcade you would get your picture, the picture of your face taken, and it would go into your avatar. Now I'm gonna do the Wario, Wario? Let's do... Now this one is easy. Let's go with the Wario one. In this one, you can't choose the power-ups. You get, you get the power-ups cho um, chosen for you. Here we are live in the other one, in the next generation City. of hardware, you get uh, Mario Kart D DX, which I'll, I'll put in, in a little later. Race. You can actually choose your power-ups. 
But that one, for some reason, is, it feels a little slower than this one. Everyone is off to a strong start. Here we go. Blinky shot an item. Did it I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. up with the same oil that I dropped. Get out of my way. No. Got wiped out by a firecracker. Excellent. Blinky takes a shot. Miss throw. Rubbing. Okay, so we got two more laps. Blinky, I can't believe the move this card has made. The race is at the halfway mark. Blinky looks for a chance to move up. Blinky takes a shot. Miss throw. Blinky, 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 Blinky. Come on. Gonna be close. Gonna be close. Racing side by side into the final corner. This is the deciding moment. Item shot. And I got the oil. Son of a. The winner is Wario Blinky. Gets passed in the final moment. Oh, the guy doesn't shut up. He does not shut up. But it's still fun. All right. Let's go back here. Should I do a Hikaru one? Yeah, why not? Let's actually do Planet Harrier, which is kind of like a spiritual successor to um, Space Harrier, of course. This intro is absolutely beautiful. There's a Hikaru board. Presented by Sega. characters here I'm going to choose the rocking dude cool. 
Sage one. Now. Get ready. Go. Now it's a spiritual successor of Space Harrier because you're floating in 3D space. But it feels very different. It doesn't feel like Space Harrier at all. They kind of build upon, I guess, new techniques. So you wouldn't feel so constricted and stuff, I guess. Now you got homing shots as well. see it's a little hectic because you have the regular shot and you have the homing one This is crazy. Now I see they added a, a special mechanic so you can grab coins and enter the shop and stuff. They kind of melded the gameplay mechanics of Fantasy Zone, which I don't know why I haven't played yet, but I'll get to that. I'm doing pretty good. of you to tell me that. Ooh, come on. 
Oh shit, Opa Opa. Let me get one more try. So this is supposed to be kind of like in the water or something? It feels well, wow, it doesn't look like water, there's trees. But it's something about the way that he's positioned that makes him look like he's swimming instead of flying. 